Hi, I'm Mark from Sycamore Gear and today we're going to be talking about the Alto live range of mixing desks available from Sycamore. Uh, we'll be looking at the 802 which is a two bus desk along with the 1202 which is also a two bus desk and then we'll be looking at the 1604 which is a four bus desk and the 2404 also the four bus desk. Okay, what we're looking at here is the Alto Live 1202. Uh, the 1202 and the 802 are very similar, being two bus mixers. Uh, the one having eight channels and the other having 12 input channels. So what I'm going to focus on is I'm going to start with channel number one and we're going to just run through all the features. Okay, firstly we've got the balanced mic input. We've got a standard line input and we've got the TRS insert uh, input for for special effects. Moving down here we have a peak light. Uh, if our signal is too high it will warn us. Okay now we come down to the compression knob over here. If you have a vocalist that's all over the place and you want to try and control and sort of choke their uh, their levels a bit, then one would use the compression channel to do that. Good place to start would be middle of the range and then either compress it further or less depending on what's required. We then have a low, mid and high uh, equalizer section so we can really uh, adjust the, uh, the EQ quite nicely with this uh, with having the, the three level EQ section. We have an AUX monitor selection knob over here so that one can adjust your feed to a monitor line. Underneath that we have the effect level knob which will give you more or less effects and uh, below that we have the pan and we will the pan is used to select from left to right on the output channels. Directly under that we have a very useful indicator here, it's a mute indicator light. So when this channel is muted we can actually see that it's muted, it just gives us another uh, a visual reference to know whether our channel is live or not. Very handy, uh, some of the, some of the uh, desks made today that come with the light, a light is always handy to have. And then we have 60 millimeter smooth sliders, lovely sliders on this desk and uh, they are truly a pleasure to work with. They don't scratch, um, really very nice to use. And then next to that we have a, a signal indicator light. As soon as we have coupled something up here and it's providing a signal, we will see that something is connected to this channel because the signal light will illuminate. Okay, we have a 9-band graphic equalizer here, which is very handy in adjusting your mixes. The EQ can be selected on or off, and the EQ can be selected to main mix out or to mon or monitor mix out, which is quite handy to have. Then we also have uh, phantom power. Phantom power, we need to power up uh, the uh, condenser microphones. Uh, will need phantom power to be uh, to be utilized and to be operated and uh, these desks all come with the phantom power. Okay we also have a level indicator here uh, so that we can actually check what the input levels, the signal levels are uh, so that we don't exceed or clip out on our inputs into the desk. If we clip out we're going to have some serious uh, problems and feedback etc etc. Okay, The Alto desks are all fitted with the Alesis DSP 100 uh, effects which are really something else to work with and you will find something there's something here for everybody so from delays right through the range to the large wall you will find something uh, that will suit you and what we do to operate this is we actually turn the dial and when it's flashing it's just the selection the actual effect won't work until 
we push it on and then we know that we're running off of 10 which will be delay and reverb and it will be different levels from 10 to 19 of that delay and reverb so you've got a whole variety to choose from there okay then we've got two track in usb be in and our phones control out the connections for which are all on the back of the mixing desk over here and these are just our level controls for that the great thing about the mutes that we spoke about earlier is that if we're at a gig and we've got all our channels up and we're feeding and things are all working we have got a main mute button which will then mute the entire band mutes all the channels except our track in so we could play background music uh, which would still function yet all our instruments and vocals would be muted so that they don't interfere with the course of events okay here we looking at the uh, alto live 1604 this is the four bus desk and uh, if you follow me down to the bus sliders over there you'll see here are the four bus sliders uh, this is a desk that one would actually use for a band environment or for a church environment. Uh, that's what you'd use this for. The uh, 1604 and the 2404, what it's basically doing is it's just giving you a lot more, a lot more channels. So as we can see there, we've got uh, 12 plus 4, uh, 12, 12 inputs plus the 4 line inputs as well. Uh, a couple of differences on, on this, uh, we, as we'll move through on channel 1 here, we'll see uh, the basic functions are all the same. The th the, excepting for the EQ section of this desk, it's a 4-band EQ uh, having the sweepable mid-range. So the EQ is slightly different. And then when it comes to the, the aux feeds, we actually have two aux sends here pre or post fade. Uh, the rest of it is basically the same until we get down to the switches at the bottom here. Uh, we've basically got our effects level and then we've got our pan and our mute button and then we've got a solo feature on this channel as well. The channel has the same sliders. All the channels are high precision 60 millimeter sliders and this has an addition on the channel of the subgroups that we can select. So if we want to go through sub 1, we'd select sub 1 and 2 and move across here and we would control that with sub 1 and sub 2 or sub 3 and sub 4 as, as we require. As we said before, the desks are all basically similar. The bigger desks, the 1604 and the 2404, just having uh, additional features and uh, a more intense controlling environment uh, with which one can use to root the different subgroups. Uh, besides that, phantom power, the same as uh, the same as all the other desks, and then also the uh, level indicator, also exactly the same. Great, guys! I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Uh, just remember to buy these products, click on the links in the description below, uh, subscribe for more videos from us and click the notifications bell. Don't forget to sign up to our website mailing list for, for any further information that you require. This is Mark from Sycamore Gear, over and out for now.